Tonight we're fighting gloom and doom with a stro fiddle. And this, or they've called horn fiddles or gypsy violins, uh, stro violin. Johann Stro in 1899 was trying to make the violin louder to record with. So he came up with this design. This is really funny. It's just basically a stick with a violin neck on it. The bridge rides on this little piece of aluminum which goes down here and there's an aluminum diaphragm in here. This is basically the diaphragm off of a phonograph needle where your phonograph needle makes noise like that and it amplifies through here. It's pretty neat because you got one that you can hear yourself with and that, that's adjustable depending on where your ear is. But you can hear it kind of, or scratch it a little bit. You can hear it come down through there. These were designed to record with through the horn the sound came out of this horn and went into the other horn before electronic recording. And they're very tinny sounding and they're very heavy compared to a violin. Um, but they did catch on for a while. They were very popular with orchestra leaders and stuff through the 1920s. Um, I'm not sure when they ceased making them, but another company is making them now. Uh, so they're still in manufacture. Uh, but this is one of the old original ones. And they're, they're quite a different sound. Once you get used to it, it's all right. choice of sound, but still interesting is the way to describe it. <laughs> the Stroh Violin. <laughs> 